Good morning. Today, I decided to go to the heart with fresh eyes, which means I have to go somewhere else first. Now, unfortunately, today, I won't be taking you with me to the heart of Ohio. I'm gonna really focus and figure out how I wanna play the sale on Saturday, which, of course, the proceeds go to scholarships for uh, high school seniors to start their own business, young entrepreneurs. It's all part of this big nonprofit event that Jacob and people are putting on, so look for that. But in the meantime, since I'm not taking you with me there, I decided I would take you with me here. I'm at Springfield Antique Center just down the road. Wow, I love that uh, Simmerso style perfume bottle. That's at 72. Wow, that is a huge Blinko lamp at $260. That's a really good price, too. What's that cat in there? That is a huge Hubley cat. I don't even think I've ever seen that. That's $90. That seems cheap for Hubley, but I don't know much about it. Looks like it's got some age to it. And again, the size is kind of wild. A few things in this case. Check out this. This acrylic. I knew it was acrylic. I had the cherries. I told you. Acrylic. Oh, anyway, I'm excited. I'm right. But this is with the grapes. That's really cool. That's at 50. And then down here, there's a really unusual art glass vase that I think I am going to go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I'm assuming it's signed. That is at 45. And then over here, the Stevens and Williams that looks like uranium. It's got a little wear, but it's also got the berries on it, and it's only at 20. So I'll probably pull that out too. Imperial Amethyst for 50. That's nice. And the pink, like, stringy glass bowl is neat too. I got so excited. I thought that was a vase, but unfortunately it's a shade. Still, that is a really cool uh, antique piece, and it's $10, which is crazy. Okay, a few things happening here. One, look at the lenticular faces on the cookie jar. If you don't know what I mean, here, let's see if I can figure out how to show. You see how they change? They got the cheerleader. There we go. See, his eyes just opened. That is insane. I love the winking uh, strawberry salt and pepper shakers. Of course, I always admire the Brisque sets. Um, Spice of Life, 75 each, so that's definitely where they have to be. Um, ooh, a little pie cruet. Really collectible. They have great stuff. And then the American Bisque Snowman Planter. All right, so I did take the iridescent um, vase. It's just super neat. And then here, the creamer, the Stevens and Williams, it was uranium. It was $20, and it wasn't actually a creamer. It was a vase. It's really cool, so I took that too. Over here, that's neat. The little marble ashtray. I love the shape of that, but it's really this stuff. This booth, oh my gosh. I just, like, love this stuff so much. Um, look at the Monkey Jack book. The graphics on that, it looks like Buster Brown. The brownies, more brownies. Oh, it's just so cool. They have the neatest stuff. I feel like I should probably like zoom in. Wow, look at the peach blue shakers. Those are fantastic. The color in them is everything. Oh man, look at the Ferdinand composition. That's such a great one. The Pluto clock is great. That's at 85. Here's something I've never seen. Look at this Aladdin lamp. Original shade with the nude on it. Also, look at that like pink Aladdin lamp. That's really neat. That's a neat little lamp too. Look at that. Love the size. And there's something about this. Oh, it's a gazelle. It's Royal Deuce. It's got such a great expression. And look at this giant Fenton Burmese lamp. That is amazing. Whoa, look at that giant Costa Boda piece. That's crazy looking. What is this thing? Hmm. Not as, as exciting as I would have hoped. I love the font on this tin. I like these little owls. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they are priced. Oh my God. 
dude. No way. I think the last one of these sold for like a hundred and fifty some bucks or something. Fifteen dollars? That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Well, we're taking that, obviously. This one is really Hazel Olsen, 18, 1989 Tiger Cat. That is cool. We'll take that. Look at this one. This is like the angry, angry grandpa cat. $10 Napco. Take that. This is a great one. $8. I'll take that. Let's see. Let's look up. There's so many good ones. Look at the little nodder. That's so funny. I feel like I'm gonna take all of them. But first, oh my gosh. $15. Japan, I've never seen this version. I've seen others in the series, but not this one. That's ours. Now back to this. $10 pottery cat. That's cool. Take that. And down here, look at this. Copper and black mid this is this is mid-century. This is cool. It's $15. I'll take that as well. What else is in here? Oh my gosh, look at this little miniature cat teacup. That is so cute. $2. And then look at this one in the basket. That's fun. $15. That's not bad. I'm more into the ones I already picked up, though, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. What's this mythical trivet? Looks new. It looks like it's got some kind of information on it. Can't really tell. Is that from Greece? That's kind of cool. I was looking at the uh, Zodiac mugs. Those always do well. Those are at $9, uh, $10 each, which is a great deal. But then I looked down and saw this. That's interesting. I think I could, I think I could do without the uh, plants in it. Let's see. Hmm. Let's look at these. These two are my favorites, so I'm going to pick these up and keep going. And I have my hands full, but I love this little dimpled pottery. Oh, I like this little blue piece. The, sh the shape on that is super nice. That's a 42, though. Well, look at what we have here. Why is this $5? Let's find out. That's a really nice Fenton piece. I don't see anything. I'll take that. All right, we'll see a couple more things. It's the same vendor. Check out this Dietz Santa lamp. That is cool. I usually just see the pumpkin. I don't think I've ever seen the Santa. I'll have to look that up. And then I was looking at the Fenton Jack in the Pulpit. That's at 49. That's a good deal. Let's see if that is, I wonder if that's the fake out custard or if it's uranium custard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell through here. Let's see. I don't think it's the, I think it's the fake out custard. Oh my God. $69 for two, 10% sold. I've seen that one, but I've never seen that one with the mirror. Well, that's an unusual shape. Me just realizing that the case is open. I'm gonna help myself. Wow. That's probably gonna be the deal of the day. Amazing. Check out the octopus. That's really fun. $20. I'm not sure how I feel about shipping that. It's a little rough spot, but in good condition overall. And then this Dynasty Gallery. It's just cool because it's got the gold glitter and the fish. For $10, I think I'm going to grab it. And then what's happening over here? Wow, they've got some really nice stuff. I'm looking at the uh, metal mesh purse. That's at 45. What's this printer? It's like a lady on a rock. That's cool. It's made in Japan, which is, 
unusual maiden occupied Japan, which is even stranger. That's really cool. Wait, Grumpy Guy Vintage? I love the sign. Let's see what's grumpy, grum, what uh, Grumpy Guy has going on over here. That's re really nice. This one is at 48. Whoa, that's kind of wild looking. Yeah, I thought so. That's going to be signed. That's really nice looking. What does it say though? Flag of fours, I'm not sure. Kind of looks like a pink tooth. And then over here, like the pink tumble up. What is this? That's a really cool Coca-Cola buckle with the nude. That seems unusual. Um, some risque cards that doesn't seem complete though. And I like the triangular mid-century USA pottery planter. And gum cat for the win, 10 bucks. Another Ohio owl, Art Alt Japan. That's neat because it's in the style of, uh, gosh, Freeman McFarlane. Look at this little grumpy chalkboard cat. He's pretty great, $12. Well, this is everything. Look at this pet caddy. What? That is so cool. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Does it fold down without getting damaged? I need this couple in need. Well, at least one. I don't know about that one. Oh yeah, in need Collins. They're both in need Collins. $70 each. Both have a little bit of wear. I like the in need Collins box purse I got at the heart better. Not to mention it was less money and in better condition. Boom. Oh, I was looking at all the pinup stuff and then I saw this. What is that paperweight? Wow, at $92, that doll is a steal. It's an old German one with the full composition body. That's pretty amazing. Hey, look at this. I love the Bakelite domino brooch, the carved one. Wow. A little close at 35. The Latticino paperweight is gorgeous. What a cool brass owl, and I don't even really like owls. Oh, it's a bell. Japan. That's unusual. What? That's cool. $9 for the Italian kangaroo plaque? Well, that's definitely coming with me. Wow. Over here, I was looking at these guys. These are really heavy. Um, the kangaroo is definitely the win. So let's see what else they have in here. I was asking Jacob, I was like, dude, why does Ohio have so much great Italian stuff. Also, I'm just now noticing this bangle situation. These are really fun. I don't understand. Like, what's what's going on with Ohio? Four dollars each. Those are really fun. I'll take those. Two dollars on this one. Well, amongst the wall, a couple things stand out to me. What's this children's hanky? This definitely stands out to me. That looks like it's got Alice in Wonderland on it. Seven dollars. Yeah, that's a deal. That's coming with us. Humpty Dumpty, the Mad Hatter, Alice in Wonderland. I love this look. But this little purse. That is so fun. It's got like foreign currency over it, all over it. Some kind of tokens. Ah, Parisian, of course. It's either French or Italian, nine times out of ten for me. <laughs> Caught glimpse of a chalkware fish back here. Looks in to be in good condition. Thirty dollars for a collector. That's a steal. It's a little bit more than I'd like to have invested personally, just for one. Flush have like completely dove down. But look at this one-eyed poodle for five dollars. I feel like we gotta save him and 
give him an eye. I actually have a kit of faux eyeballs at home, so I'll take that. Wow, what is that box? Depression glass, slaggy ass manicure. I guess it's a manicure box. How cool. Hey, check out the Fenton uranium glass owl fairy lamp. It said $69.99, and then I get 70% off. I might do some math on that. Yeah, so it comes to $65 after the discount. I actually think I'd do all right on that. I think I'm gonna look at that. Some really nice Vaseline pieces. Oh my gosh, this little girl rattle is fantastic. Now, I did pick up the owl just in case I decide to do a 100 owl for, uh, from Ohio sale. But check out this little vintage Murano thimble for 18. I think I'm gonna grab that. See, this is like one of my weaknesses, the old boxes of uh, just household stuff. I think they're so fantastic. Oh, that's a really pretty Murano. At first I thought it didn't have a price, but the price has faded out. It's 145. That is gorgeous. Oh my God. Look at that. That is so pretty. That's satin. 125. I think I'm gonna need to get in there. Um, I get 7% off. Oh, but that is gorgeous. Is it a bottle or is it a paperweight? That's the question. If it's a bottle, I'm kind of in. If it's a paperweight, I might pass. Well, either way, I'll need a key. Because look at the tall... They say skunks, but I feel like they're chipmunks. The salt and pepper shaker sets. Those are at $16. That's a steal. I've never even seen that version before. The tall ones usually do really well, too. Well, uh, unfortunately, the bottle was, in fact, a paperweight. I did get the chipmunks. I also found a really neat anthropomorphic apples. Uh, you're the apple in my eye set from Inesco for nine bucks. And yes, I'm sitting on the ground. God, that's pretty. What is that, Tiffin? I can't tell. So nice. I love that trumpet shape in that color. I really like that little enameled tray in there for $5. Little scotch decanter. Some really fun tins and boxes. Oh, another owl. This is a little onion vase. False graph. Made to look like, uh, I guess, yeah, that's interesting. I've seen those before, actually, now that I think about it. What's this? This is gonna look Italian. Italy, 15, though. I was admiring this little miniature uh, mid-century vase. But then I realized it's for the pair. $10 for both. That's kind of cool. I'll take those. And what do we have down here? German glass, two piece, $39. Case, is it German? That's cool. Yeah, made in Germany. I really like that. So 30, uh, 35, hmm, that's actually not a bad price, I feel like. And then in here, this is the one I noticed. Murano, 35. Holy cow, speaking of Murano, look what's in here. Now, now we're talking. Wow. What? How much is that? 250. Yeah. What about this one? This one's gonna be probably even more. That one's at 275. Yeah, those are gorgeous. I especially like the vase though. Love this color. Antique slag bowl, 35. Well, amongst the Fenton, there's a couple pieces that stand out. One is the giant satin glass bowl that's 28 bucks. I'm not sure if I want to mess with that. That looks like uranium. And it is. That's a good deal. Um, the other thing that I really like is the coin dot. And that is at $17.50, which is a steal. I'm going to take that. Well, that was a fun trip. I spent $442 in there. I got some great stuff. And now I am back to the heart. So I will see you guys later.